Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kim Lissites doing another segment on My Mom Mondays. And on, on today's segment of My Mom Mondays, what I just want to talk about is what's going on in Ukraine. Not necessarily about the politics and everything that's going on in Ukraine because I'm not from that country. I don't want to really dibble and dab into it. But also, I am sending my prayers to that country and those people because it's a very unfortunate situation that is transpiring in, with, with Ukraine and Russia. But... What I want to talk about is about that situation that's similar to go hand in hand with Ukraine is just understanding your blessings and appreciating your blessings. Like it, like right now, like in this situation with the people in Ukraine, like there's people out there losing their homes. There's people that's homeless. They're just trying to find a, a way to just live. But that's a, a normal, if that's even a word to say in this situation, a normal life, which they can't get to their normal right now. And how I'm just summing this up, just appreciating your blessings is that I actually live down the street where they house some homeless people. And especially like in this time where it's like the season is changing on a day to day basis because it's Virginia weather. Um, so sometimes it'd be hot days and some days it'd be cold days. But you see homeless people at this church who stand out in line and it look like they could be out there for hours just to have a bed to rest on and one of the things that I've said to myself was like man I'm only a few steps away from being in that situation and I don't want to talk about that but I just want to sum it all up to what I'm just basically getting at and that's just appreciating your blessings sometimes like we all get caught up in the things that we don't have but we don't never appreciate the things that we do have like, it might not be a lot, but it's enough to get you by throughout the day. You might not be able to afford a steak. You might not be able to afford a salmon. You might not be able to afford a nice car. You might not even have what some people may deem the prettiest female in the world. But it's right for you. It's right for your situation. And I was talking to a young lady, and, like, I remember this speech that Steve Harvey said. He was like, how can you expect God to bless you when you can't uh, when you can't appreciate what God has blessed you with right now and basically what he's saying is how can you uh, how can you ask for more when what you have is not fulfilling to you yes there might be times where you might want you 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 desire more and everybody do have desires more everybody have a desire to get better but you still not humbled enough to just being able to appreciate what did you do have. Like one of the things I do when I pray is I always, I, every time I talk to God and I talk about God, I say, God, just let everyone appreciate the things that they do have instead of the things that we don't have. And it, that's just all I just want to really talk about because like this, this Ukraine situation, just like homeless and just like people who don't have much. Sometimes, just a little bit is just enough. Like you, I've seen this video recently where my brother showed me this, where a lady, where this, where, well, well, where this guy, he was going to the store and asked people just to buy him a water, just buy him a water bottle because he left his wallet in the, in the car. But the water bottle no more than a dollar twenty five cents. Two, two people said no, um, but a mother with two kids and the, and the people that was that he asked was by themselves but the mother with two kids single mother and it was their birthday she said yes this mother has less for herself but she's able to give back to someone because she understands that situation she understands that sometimes like just because you have less doesn't mean you can't have more Sometimes it takes it takes a man to walk in someone else's shoes to understand that their pain and what they're going through is 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 it's a lot, but they know they can get through. And I'm, I know I'm kind of going off on a rant, but I'm just saying like all together, like yes, you don't gotta you don't gotta have the biggest house just to be happy. You don't gotta have the fastest car just to be happy. You don't gotta have. You don't got to have all the money in the world just to be happy. Because like it or not, there's billionaires that's not happy. So just because you have less does not mean you're not blessed. 
And like I just said, y'all, let's appreciate your blessings because your situation can be a lot worse. Yes, you could hope for a better situation, but sometimes the situation you're at is still a blessing itself because you still have family, you still have loved ones, you still have people around you that truly care about you and don't care about what you have in your pocket and what you have to offer to them. But they did, but this the time and effort that you get towards them is the truly the blessing that they able just to just to be around and is able to be appreciative of. And so, like I said, y'all, just appreciate your blessings and don't get caught up in the things that you don't have. Get caught up in the things you do have. And with that being said, y'all, this is Kimlin Sites on another segment of My Mom Mondays.